Yeah, oh, farf. <laughs> no, but nobody wants that. Well, no. Did you say oh farts? I said oh barf, but oh yeah, oh farty barfies. I'm happy. Ew, that's gross. <laughs> what do you? What do you get <laughs> when you cross a fart? It's a bar. I, was, I, I crossed the line, is what I did. That's my that nightmare. <laughs> Everyone say hi to Maddie and Dylan. Hi, Maddie and Dylan. Hi, Maddie and Dylan. Hi. Hello. Good to see you. <laughs> Spencer. Spencer can't handle it. All uh, right. Last time we met, um, you all were continuing to explore the Abbey and uh, root out the mistrust of a particular priest of Procan that you found in a cellar. Woo-hoo! Yeah, yeah, it's a represent. I still, still want to kill that old woman. Of course you do. Um, she is a, tied up or something in a I think her hands are tied as well. lower chamber with no way out. Um, you all came up and found a bag of tied up dead bodies um, in the nearby uh, like little little inlet here um, and which had attracted the attention of these great big squirmy squiddy crabby boys um, who kind of I feel like they kind of fucked some of you up a little bit um not cinder of course nobody can hit cinder and cinder doesn't have spells cinder can go can do this all day Captain I got spells. what well oh, okay well didn't have haven't used a lot of your slots oh yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. we fought some poop rats and before this only and yeah, like... <laughs> that's true that's true and you so so far you've gone through two battles right you uh you defeated the great big bird creature Mm -hmm. uh when you first got here and then these ones um and uh, upon further exploration of the property uh gian on his own little lonesome went around to the pond and uh started getting beat up by something he couldn't see uh something something whacked him out of nowhere and he doesn't know where it came from and that's still happening. Um, and from the bushes came uh, some pretty nasty looking folks. Oh, they're cute. Oh, look at them. Oh. Um, they got kelp for hair. They do kind of look like that one Muppet and Animals band. Like with the groovy girl. Yeah, she's like, hey, man. You know what we're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't remember her. I do know a fact about her. Her hair is made out of a lampshade. Uh, really? I didn't know that, but not her name. Yeah, that's the thing. And her name is Janice. Thank you. Janice. Lampshade, huh? Yeah. Lampshade. Uh, originally, Janice. originally, just as Kermit the Frog was made out of a uh, pea coat. Oh. Didn't know that. Because she's got like strands. Yeah. Yeah, like a like a. What's that? A fringe? Fringe. It was a fringe lamp in the 70s. Mm. You know, they put fringe on anything back then. Oh, I baby. see or, there's a figure you it. can own that is Kermit the Frog with a green afro. I googled Groovy Muppet to find out who this <laughs> was, and I'm scrolling down the image search. Um, and this is... <laughs> Everyone change your name, for God's sake. A thing that you can buy, oh. I guess. Or that you could buy. Ba, 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 oh, it's, da, da, da. Forbidden. it's forbidden for me to can't go to it what the fucking shit hold on porcelain muppets kermit is this one. the same link it looks like it yep forbidden forbidden well, how about this how all right this? i'll fucking cheat. so <laughs> i'll do it you're fine you're fine all right so uh gian what do you do um so I, I don't have to like roll initiative or anything. Um, you know, I, I think that depends on what you want to do. So you, oh, okay. somebody, somebody attacked you. How tall is this tower? Uh, two floors. Two floors. Okay. It's like 20 feet. <laughs> uh, let me look at the second floor and tell you, tell you what I see. There is a 
there are some windows. Um, yeah, I'd say 20 feet up. And uh, there's a there's a window that you might be able to fit through uh, on that side. Uh, I was thinking about right the, the roof. Um, like I oh, straight up to the roof. Oh, um, yeah. Height of second floor roof. Ce ceilings are usually about ten feet. So. Sure, but then what about the roof? The roof. The roof. Between 20 and 25 feet. Yeah, I'll give you I'll give you 25 feet. And it's at a slope. I'm gonna say that it because it's a sure. Cool. Yeah. Uh you want to gonna uh make his bouncy bounce ring, bouncy bouncing, and uh jump all the way to the top of that. Having such a good time. Bouncy bouncy, shoes all in a line, bouncy bouncy. All right, Gian, uh, make a dexterity saving throw to not slide off the roof. Also, you're okay. going to get an attack of opportunity. Fair enough. Um, I like what you're doing here. I do. But you might have just uh, fuckled yourself. <laughs> so it seems. <laughs> it's a six for me yeah so you bounce up there and you um you hit just the very edge and your hammies are a little little tight <laughs> they're a little first they're a little tight Rose and so day. you go whoa 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 anyway um also nine doesn't hit so yeah you're fine um does it can you read the name of the attacker yeah sorry it's an invisible stalker mm -hmm. you see <laughs> can't see it uh, <laughs> cool uh, only... please please roll 2d10 as you fall to the ground Take 19 oh. points of damage, Ooh. almost full damage. You Thank get the wind. I rolled really well. <laughs> you get the wind knocked out of you. <laughs> um, let's roll. Let's do initiative at this point. Everyone? Uh, no, just him. Um, but Where are we? Yeah, How noisy is all this? Yeah, that that is that is the question. I don't I don't recall why. Gian was out there by himself. So everyone was kind of doing their own thing, exploring around. Um, I believe, yeah, uh, Timber and uh, Serena are inside the building. You seem to still be out in the water with Dimitri and Barnacle. Well, yeah. So is it? So we fought some shit outside, but I thought we were like gonna wait for nighttime, or is is had not happened yet? So you guys are preparing to. Uh, fortify the whole place mm -hmm. um in about six hours okay so it's still gotcha mm -hmm. we wanted to finish clearing it you know what we're working with right tell me what you're working with did we just finish finding these crab boys mm -hmm. okay now we there's don't some have body burning rest. going on i believe oh yeah right because the um it was made very clear to you that the uh, like water beings, the the thing, the like murderers from in the water. Um... <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> what? Nothing. Oh, okay. Am I missing something in the chat? Is it in the oh. chat? Cross Not in the chat. <laughs> Serena. Serena, join us. I don't know what's going on. Uh, look at everyone's name, Matt. <laughs> oh, okay. Gotcha. Barney started it. <laughs> <laughs> Great job, everyone. I'm so, I'm so proud of you. Uh, <laughs> we're going to have a psychedelic battle right now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, yes, you were all clearing stuff out. Yeah. Bodies were being burned. 
uh gian was looking around gian got whacked um out of nowhere um bodies were being burned because it was made clear to you that the things that are coming back uh are going to be taking the bodies with them to create more of themselves great um gian temperature but -da -ba -ba -da, I'm on the wrong layer again. Here I am. Here I am. On the wrong layer again. <laughs> Here, I <am. laughs> Here I go. <laughs> Turn order. Okay. Um, I don't know how it now, goes. in terms of sound, uh, Serena, give me a perception check, and Timber's going to make a perception. Just hold my passive. Oh, is it pretty high? Yes. How high is it? Eighteen. Yeah, you hear it. Sure, I'll give it to you. You hear, you hear a big thump come from uh, through the stone walls, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um, but this is as good a chance as any for uh, for you to hear. What's going on? What's going on? What do you uh, want to do, Serena? Um, well, it, if it sounds like it's coming from the direction, I probably would attempt to see what's through this door to, to ascertain whether it's from the other side of this wall. Okay, uh, so you open the door. Yeah. And... This is revealed. Um, let me get into the book so I can tell you about the room. This is a really cattywampus way to do it, but such is the nature of, of what we're doing. Library. Like any windows or anything. Uh, faded tapestries showing maritime scenes and dramatic storms. Uh, did I start recording? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Um, maritime scenes and dramatic storms at sea hang from the north and south. Oh, storms at sea hang from the north and south walls of this cozy room. The floor is carpeted in a ragged green shag woven to depict a crashing wave. A low set of book laden shelves sit against the east wall and three wooden tables and several chairs fill the rest of the room. Books are strewn about the tables and floors. I don't believe there are any windows. Okay. Um, I guess the question is whether I'd ascertain if it was on the other side of that. I'll give myself an intelligence. That sounds reasonable. Yeah, no, well, I, I think that um, you don't see anything have no don't worry about it matt I, nothing okay. has fallen in here so you can yeah. you can safely assume it came from outside all right well then i think i'd probably yell at timber um something's on the like something's outside something's outside and then um i'll wild shape and then dash that direction can you pull your own wild shape um is it in your i can probably take no I, I i think i gotta i think i gotta give it to you i see giant eagle but i don't see anything i'll just probably go back to the cat for this right that's what i figured so i don't there's your cat i think the cat got removed okay cool Looks good. oh you guys are gonna dash yes all right, Timber says, um, lead the way. Keep up if you can, because that's exactly what you yelled at Timber with how fast he is. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, Timber. In fact, Matt, I'm going to just give you Timber. <laughs> okay. You're going to pilot Timber today. <laughs> um, this will be interesting. <laughs> And then who wants uh, who wants uh, our our friend Dimitri? Dimitri. Spence, you want to meet? You want some Dimitri? Um, yeah. Will I be able to see the spell list and actually find out what's what, what's up? Yeah, that's wild right. magic. 
cool. all the time. <laughs> so if you do like Timber's full gamut, he gets like 90 feet. I get 100, so he'll be right behind me. Yeah, so. Oops, I need to. There you go. Dig it. Oh, I don't have control of Kitty yet. Okay. Spencer, do you have um, do you have control of uh, our friend? Uh, yep. Thank you. And there's Cat for you, Matt. Thank you. All right. And so we both dash. There okay. Um, is there anything? Okay. Um, I'm going to say that Timber has message. Correct. Um, I just got him, so I'm just yeah. finding my way here, but probably. Pretty sure he does. Because if he has message, then he's going to tell. Um... Yep, he's got message. Okay, so with message, okay. uh, he's going to tell you, Cinder, what's going on. Um... Okay so that you guys can come too. Uh, so if you are all dashing. What about the, not hostages, but these people? What about the them? The bodies? Are, are they not, are, are, is that not who these people are? Yeah, they're, they're, the, they're the, the dude that was sick and the elderly or the older dwarf man. Oh, okay. So they're just like, what? Huh, huh, huh? I leave them. <laughs> I forgot where the other woman was. But she's locked up. Yeah, she's locked up. So I'll let you guys uh, dash your 60 feet. So Timber says something like uh, East Courtyard, uh, there's a disturbance. And then let's have everybody roll for initiative. How is everybody moving in inside? Is this the entrance? Yeah, so this is the door. And then this is the other door. And then you got to go through this door. <laughs> Unless then... you want to swim around or something. I don't know. Yeah, I can get, I can dash yeah. all the way here. All right. That's and then look. Spencer, would you dash Dimitri? Yeah, I'm uh, just yeah. following. Yep. Um, Ender. Is Dimitri going over the hill, Spencer? Uh, no, I don't know why. That was weird. Just All right. Go ahead. Okay. Uh. Serena's got a percentile initiative too, huh? So yeah, everybody do. I, I thought it was only your monsters. No idea. <laughs> what do you I think that's a game settings, isn't it's, it? It's only in this. It's not in the other game either. It doesn't what, happen. Do you mean the the uh, the, the, the decimals? I mean. Tiebreaker. So that's uh, in your character sheet. You go up uh, to like options and it says add dexterity modifier. So it just automatically breaks tiebreakers for you. Huh. Oh. Huh. Yeah, it's, it's nice. It's a good thing. All right. Um, Gian, you're going to get hit. All right. I'm going to get hit twice. 21. That hits. 10. Oh. Get hit again. Another 13. Nope. Oh, sorry. 13 to hit. No, it does not. All right. So you get slammed by something like right in your bread basket. I'm imagining you're still on the ground. Um, I, I, oh, in that case. The, oh, never mind. No. Even Both of them. <laughs> that yeah, even with one. advantage, same things. So. Um, yeah, so I, I'd imagine you uh, you are prone, and it slam welcomes you to the jam. Um, all right. I, I just added in late. If we're doing turns from the top. Oh, we we is doing. Me too. Turn turns from the top. All right. Um, so it's th this is where I'm. I, th these stairs are where I'm trying to go. 
Well, uh, ultimately, you're supposed to be getting uh, here once you get to the oh. like the east courtyard is what Timber tells you. Okay. All right, Cinder, you're up. You can do your dash. I'm, I'm dashing, baby. Dashing, uh, dashing, uh, dashing, dashing. Remember that old? I do. That old commercial, Spencer, from when you were three. <laughs> I've dashed is all I can dash. I can't dance dash no more. Timber, you're up. All right. Um, I'm trying to barnacle your neck. How the it's a bonus action to boots. That's how that works. Okay. Um, and then, all right. I think we will just have Timber. I'm going to keep it vanilla here since I'm still catching up. We'll run 30 feet forward out there. And then he's going to fireball. Or not fireball. He's going to um, firebolt the first one, the closest one. This one here? Uh, here, 19 to hit. 19 to hit. Cool, 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 cool. 19 does Shadow. hit. Okay. For 12 points of fire damage. Okay. okay. 12. Um, and then I guess as a, a bonus action, I can inspire, right? Correct. So, uh, Gian, he, he sings you uh, a song of inspiration. Uh, keep on up, keep it on up, keep on up, keep it on up. <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> you, you're really playing Maddie. I love it. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> it's my first bard. Here we go. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, that your turn, Tim? Turn to him. All right, Barnacle, you're up. Gian, you're next. I'm just dashing. Um, just following Cinder. So I can dash up there as well, I assume. Um, yeah. Cool. That's my turn. Okay. Yeah, well, so uh, I, I, I have 40 speed. I, I have a little more speed than you. Okay, I'm <laughs> probably like that. So here. like, yeah, about there, maybe. <laughs> all right give me, hard for give me a second. to run because she's like holding her cloak in her hands like oh, <laughs> damn it. Oh. she's not very fast give lady. me a second about these spell slots i gotta take a look at my spell slots three huh. oh. it says i have three I have two level three spell slots, but I don't have any level three spells. Hmm. That feels wrong. It does feel wrong. <laughs> huh. Level nine? Oh, yeah, I, I guess didn't it, level up properly. It doesn't have uh she doesn't have they don't have spell slot. They don't have spells. Okay. So now you guys know that in their character sheet no um i mean this is a little peek behind the curtain but uh hags need to be in a coven for oh. them to share spell slots uh, 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 uh. um so she's gonna she's got some stuff under her under her fingernails but um thank you barnacle gian you're up uh gian will uh stand up um and bellow out uh, um, thanks for coming guys there's some invisible bullshit around <laughs> you uh figure out what how to deal with that i'll just kill these folks um as he uh becomes empowered with the might of kavaki heck and yeah steps forward between these two uh hags what what cool yeah yeah, <laughs> that's, that's badass. Thanks. And uh, recklessly attacks this guy a couple times. <laughs> okay. Um, and I think you owe me a couple of opportunity of attacks, I have a feeling. 
So. No, I don't. Oh, okay. <laughs> One, uh, two, 17 hit? Yeah. Twenty nine. That's for attack one. Still, still on her feet. Oh yes, yeah, still on her feet. Yeah. Okay. And then attack two. Oh That's god. So that was all on the one that got hit by the fireball. Dead. Okay. Um. Yeah, you deal with the invisible ones. Oh, I got these. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that your turn? That's my turn. Yeah. All right. Um, please uh, make a DC eleven wisdom saving throw. Oh, the thing Gian's best at. Cool. Smart, not wise. Uh, All right. Gian is going to go ahead and uh, use his uh, fanatical focus. Oh fuck me. This was the one thing I was going to have. You on. Also, you also have inspiration. I'll still fanatical focus first on this one. Uh, and then uh, go ahead and roll it again. Okay. Oh. <laughs> and I guess, oh, I guess I'll use my inspiration, which is a D8. <laughs> so this is what this looks like. Wait, Dane. Can Dane. you make it? It's a, it's oh, a yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's a d8 i believe oh. that's a 13 you have to get you, you have to beat an 11 you might it's be able a, to make it it's a low percentage chance but i'm gonna do it I'm okay do it. yeah yeah <laughs> nope. oh. hey it was a valiant effort so this is this is what this looks like um spencer you like do your like down up move on this one hag right and she just slides off your blade like like butter off of a hot butter knife. And you swing around and full in your face like she was looking over your shoulder the entire time is this gruesome fish-eyed, glassy, purple-lipped, wide, too wide mouth with these like needle-like teeth in these purple puffy gums just breathing on you and you feel just bile start rising up in your throat and you say no no kavaki will protect me and you swallow that bile down and you open your eyes and she's even closer and you smell rotten fish in your nose and you feel this, this clammy breath. You don't know how breath can be clammy, but it's clammy and it's on your face and you feel like somehow it's under your fingernails and you wither and you are completely frightened of this creature. Okay. So you got that going, which is nice. <laughs> For me, <laughs> um, okay, uh, frightened for a minute. You can repeat your saving throw at the end of your turn, um, but it's at disadvantage if the hag is within sight, Spencer. Sounds good. Um, If you are, if you do succeed against it, you are immune to this effect going forward. Okay. And, and uh, you have advantage or disadvantage um, on attack rolls against the hat. Until the start of the next turn, a creature that averts its eyes has disadvantage on attack rolls against the hat. You're frightened. Uh, Dimitri will keep on dashing. A dashing, dashing. Yeah. Serena, you're up. All right. Uh, Serena can get somewhere about there with a dash. Uh, can she smell or perceive anything as she runs up? 
Give me a sec. Okay. No. Okay. <laughs> you can't smell. Then that's my. Right. That's my turn. Uh, okay. Well, you, I mean, yeah. Okay. There's yeah. no like shimmers or anything I can try to perceive or anything either. Okay. No, it, I'm I'm reading the bio here, and it's it's pretty unequivocal that this thing is like short of true sight, see invisibility all that jazz this this thing is uh yeah okay cool it's it's whole thing is being invisible like it's that's it's like whole thing <laughs> right. it's not great at attacking like it it's it's just uh shitty at best <laughs> um <laughs> speaking of which uh serena yeah. out of nowhere you get slammed. Welcome to the jam. 14 and 19. 14, no, 19, yes. All right. So you get hit with... Uh, 12 bludgeoning. Yes, just 12, right. Um, so you uh, you feel like it's like a kick to your rib cage almost. All right. Um, it came from... Did I move the map? I didn't mean to. Um, I'm on the wrong layer again. Uh, it came from this side, Matthew. I cannot see your ping. I'm on the wrong layer. <laughs> it came from this side, Matthew. Okay, behind me. Uh, I'm sorry, to your right, uh, looking at it. Like there? Uh -huh. Okay. All right, Cinder, you're up. Timber, you're next. I'm dashing, I guess. I'm I'm fucking with my spells, so I'll show you when I'm done. I can't wait. I'm learning spells mid battle, but I should have had them. I guess I don't know. <laughs> cool. I don't know. I don't know how this happened. Um, I think I got confused because I was doing some paper, some not paper. Right. Um, dope. Yeah. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Can I hop over this? This is a uh, oh yeah you can yeah Five, six, stoop kid is seven, not afraid to leave his stoop in this eight, situation. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. <laughs> Okay, that's all I got. Yeah, you got it. Timber, you're up. All right. Uh, Timber is going to run. If I get here, will I have angle on the hag, or do I need to come lower? Um, I'm going to say that the uh, these bushes are are obstructing your view as well. Oh, okay. Uh, then I guess we'll just straight up dash. So you said that was ninety ish, right? Yeah. <laughs> Something so dumb. He'll just he'll just fly like up here, and then that that'll be his turn. Okay. Great barnacle. Um, still oh, trying Lord, to get she's there. She's coming. I'm going to run, run, run in. Um, so yeah, what is my actual speed here? Um, my speed is 30, so dashing would be 60. So. <sighs> where's the door in this room? Um, right here. The bottom of the, oh, am I on the wrong layer again? Here we go, down here. So I have to come down here. Uh huh. Oh, which is 50. Mm hmm. Oh boy, oh boy. So really, I can get just here. You can get to the to the gate. Boy, oh boy. There I am. End of turn. Cool. <laughs> um, Gian, you're up. Uh, Gian is uh, quaking in his boots. 
Mm -hmm. um, but nonetheless uh, turns towards the hag and says, I'm, I'm scared, but I won't be scared. <laughs> I'll be brave. Oh, and, uh, Gian. Everyone loves Gian. And uh, he'll recklessly attack a couple times. So that's uh, that. That's going to be just a straight roll, right? Yeah. Uh, Seventeen and fifteen. Yeah, both hit. Cool. <laughs> it's a straight thirty. Just a straight, you know, just your standard straight thirty. A, a normal thirty. Uh huh. You know. Uh, and then an extra sixteen, so forty-six damage. Okay. You uh, you get a pretty good like black ichor splashes on your face. The smell, the smell of rotten fish is just like really up there, just like like a like a roller coaster. Fish market bro. from hell. That's right. Yeah, booga booga booga. <laughs> I now have all my spells, Dane. None of them are combat spells, except for maybe revivify, depending on your definition. Interesting. <laughs> um, Hello. I got a hand on my head. Hi. Appeared through the green screen. <laughs> Wait, do it again. It's <laughs> just cool. your arm, like your shirt stops. <laughs> um, she's going to disengage and run away. All right. Dimitri, you're up. Uh, Dimitri's going to continue dashing. That's all. There we go. Serena, you're up. All right. Uh, uh, going to swipe attack down low, see if I can catch uh, an invisible uh, what's that there has to be a disadvantage right uh -huh. so 15 does not hit all, this all right then we're gonna do it one more time okay uh twenty three does not hit okay um, it's almost like the thing isn't next to you anymore. <laughs> All right. There's no way for me to perceive it. So <laughs> this is cool. <laughs> um, frustrated, chill. Let's see if this is still looking. Oh, yeah. We'll run. And get in front of the hag like she's not going ah, it makes weird gurgling oh. noises and more ichor splashes on the ground from its needly mouth yeah meow <laughs> B-O-T <laughs> that's your turn? okay E-O-T oh. so do I see this hag or no? Uh, you see this one and this dead one on the ground. Just instead of, yeah, that'll do. Mm. I'll do. I just run up on it. Well, it's not your turn. Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> you can't see. You can't see <laughs> whose turn it is. My bad. Is it not my turn? <laughs> it's not your turn. It's, it's the invisible. Mm. It's the invisible creature's turn. Um, the invisible creature has an invisible turn. That is. Yeah. That makes sense. Because I rolled its initiative on the GM later layer, so you can't see its uh, its uh, turn in order. Just say its flavor; it's cool. <laughs> um, Serena, twenty-one and nineteen to hit. Uh, yeah, those those will both hit. All right. Take uh, twenty-five points of damage um, as you get battered about the face with invisible force. Right on your snoot. All right, Cinder, you're up. Uh, confused. I still attack the thing I can see. 
Well, I don't attack it. I just run up on it. That's the end so of the turn. So you only make it to... Sorry. There. Oh. Okay. And you uh, hit something in front of you. Does... Uh, I still it's I'm still dashing, so it doesn't matter. I can't attack it. But does that uh? uh it feels do, do like I, do I have it? Is that going to help me next turn to try and attack this thing or what? Just it I ran feels it. like you hit a wall of air, like it literally, like a wind blows you back. Okay, that's that's what I'm, I'm giving gonna, you. I'm gonna remember, and then that's my turn. Uh, it's the it's the meme. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Timber, you're up. Uh, he'll step up one here and then give a fireball blast at the hag. Twenty six. Twenty six hits. Eighteen fire. She is emolliated. Emolliated into great stinky green blue flame i'm melting i'm melting she yells and um are you, are you doing a bit yeah a little bit um <laughs> always uh and in front of you um cinder and serena uh seeing for the first time uh, almost like shimmering out of thin air, you see a strange wind creature. Ooh. The invisible oh. stalker. And um, as she falls, uh, the cinder, or the, excuse me, the stalker looks at uh, all of you uh, makes a strange whistling howl and then just whoosh, and uh, like kind of like does a spinny disintegration up into the air and seems to have left. You are out of turn order. There's no, there's no, this is the same thing. Spencer asked, there's no opportunity attacks here. It ran away. Right, but I was right next to it. I'm just, I'm just making sure it doesn't have an ability. Uh, it makes itself visible. So it, before it leaves, you can, of course, hit it. Hell yeah. That's not it. Where, where is it? Uh, and uh, Serena, I, I'll allow you, <laughs> it's an 11. I'll allow you to do that as well. 16. I don't think either of us are going to hit it. Um, 16 hits. For 15 points of damage. You get a little chunk of wind. Some wind falls to the ground. Gross. That's right. <laughs> little scraps of wind everywhere. We can feed that to um... Fernando. Fernando. Yay! <laughs> eat this wind, Fernando. <laughs> if clouds can't eat wind, I don't know what they can eat. Yeah, no, that's very true. <laughs> oh, he loves eating. It. He loves it. Who loves the wind? <laughs> All right. Also, hmm? well, I guess if we're out of turn order, Barnacle is going to dash up to the fight. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, okay, I'm here. <laughs> Who needs healing? There are two dead, gross fish creatures on the do ground. Not, do not heal them. They are dead. Um, also, <laughs> if I had made it in time, I was going to ask you if Fernando could just gently drizzle over the scene. And, it, <laughs> would, and would that illuminate the invisible being like in a daredevil situation. Right. Um, I would, would I would say that it would have been able to do that in a five foot square at a time. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that cool. would have been cool. Yeah. Didn't make it in time. Didn't Fernando, make it in time. <laughs> Fernando was going to give us like a little spotlight, a little, 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 little like daredevil little drizzy like fighting in the rain drizzly spotlight yeah. thing yeah, yeah. Kind of cool. uh, oh. if, everyone had now. if everyone hadn't shown up beyond plan was to jump in the water and hopefully oh yeah. The water, yeah 
That'd have been good. Although it is a wind elemental, so it probably would have been on top of the water. I don't see the wind in the water. This is this is kind of cool, actually. An invisible stalker is an air elemental that has been summoned from its native plane and transformed by powerful magic. Its sole purpose is to hunt down creatures and retrieve objects for its summoner. When it is defeated or the magic that binds it expires, an invisible stalker vanquishes in a gust of wind. Uh, when an invisible stalker is created, it stays at its summoner's side, blah, blah, blah. So it's just this really angry air elemental that has to do what the hag says. Cool. Oh, so it didn't, did it disappear or did it run away? Yes. You don't know. Okay. <laughs> Good use of inclusive war. What was that? What was that? Good use of inclusive war. Yeah. Bingo. Um, okay. So uh, you guys are a little more fucked up now. At least Gian is. Significantly. Yeah. <laughs> Gian took more damage falling off of a roof than he has from any single attack in this entire game. <laughs> oh, boy. That speaks more to Dane as a DM than it does <laughs> anything else. <laughs> love that. I love that for you. Okay. Um, <laughs> While we're all gathered around, Barticle is going around being like, healing, who needs it? Who needs it? Uh, D- Dimitri uh, raises his hand. And says Dimitri. nothing. <laughs> And suddenly comes out with a Shakespearean soliloquy and and it's just really yakky all of a sudden. I dare say, my good sir, I could use some <laughs> what? What? T- t- Timber pipes up. Would remember we uh, we have no long rest before they come in. So perhaps we, we need more short rests. <laughs> Should we all take a little short rest right now? We're not. All right. Uh, let's. Uh, um, Who needs healing? Gian says, says, um, I think, um, you know, maybe some people need to take a break, but I, maybe we should uh, explore the rest of the rooms together before we uh, how, decide. How bad to... does Gian look? Visible. Yeah. Gian still has more HP than like Dimitri's max HP. So, like, I'm fine. But does, but does he look messed up after falling oh, off the roof? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's a. Uh, I try to I try to slyly point to Gion then. <laughs> oh no, I'm, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. I guess we haven't we haven't taken a long rest yet, huh? We haven't taken no. a short rest yet. Well, I have I have seven of my nine hit die. Oh, so I guess we took one, but let's. Uh, we took a short rest before Gion went exploring. You know, after I uh, went exploring on my own and then um, found all those uh, monsters, I think maybe we should. Um, Explore the rest of it together before we, uh, you know, take a minute. Okay. okay. So where are you all going? Where Let's have go we look been? at this library. We can we can finish the library and the area down here. Okay. Should I just put you all there? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Library time. Once again, faded tapestries, green shag carpet, a lot of books. Mm, what do you guys, that's, that's pretty much what you see in here. What do you guys want to do? Any of the books look interesting? Make an investigation check. Oh, 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 psychedelic barns. Yes. Um, <laughs> make a history or religion check for me. Instead of investigation? Yeah, uh, you can do both, but I'll make this, is, this is something specific for Procan related biz. Ugh. Yeah. Um, so the carpet, the carpet depicts the symbol of Procan. Ooh. 
Hey, you guys, this carpet is Procan. This this one? Procan. Hey, that's your one. You guys, oh. you guys jealous? Um, jealous? Should we, like, should we like not step on it or something? Like, is that disrespectful? or? No, yeah. it's fine. He wants it's to be stepped on. Oh, okay. Got a cool god, I guess. Yeah, he's pretty cool like that. Uh, anything else exciting? I guess I can make my investigation. Is that... Is, is, is that weird, Barney? The what the... would be here i don't know i'm asking wow i'm a horrible investigator yeah uh, you're too you're too busy you're too <laughs> distracted by this cr- great pro can carpet hmm. i mean it doesn't seem well isn't it is it weird dane i mean this whole temple is a temple of pro can yeah but it also oh. like it yes essentially they were they were uh it is not weird having a carpet with the symbol weird no it's 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 kind of kitschy okay i want to roll up the carpet yeah you get it you got the carpet baby cool is there anything under it like a secret door wait this whole carpet (laughs) it's 25 foot carpet yeah i'm not gonna put it in my bag now i'm just gonna roll it up for later it won't fit in a bag of holding at all Not at all. Not even a little bit. There's nothing under the carpet. Fair enough. Well, let's just see how things pan out later. I'm just going to roll it up. And we case. could put it on the ship. Let's just see how things go. Anybody else want to investigate? Uh, Timber will poke around behind these curtains and stuff, sure. I mean, Dimitri's really in the books. Dimitri will look around. I'm sort of always standing guard. Love it. But if you want, to, if you want to take this carpet back to the to the to the ship, I'm not saying no. Uh, uh, let's just do it later. Let's see how this whole defense shakes out. If people are going to come back here and worship, I'm not going to prevent them from doing it on the carpet. I'm just saying, if this is going to be abandoned or convert, then it seems like a waste to have this procan carpet just on the floor, not being used. I mean, I think everybody's sort of dead, so I don't know if they're going to come back here. <laughs> Well, I feel like maybe we could get a little revival going if we like beat off these bad guys and fight them away. Then maybe other people will come back. I don't know. I'm just saying. Just saying. Yeah, maybe. Maybe they could make right. a new carpet and you could have this one. <laughs> Serena, for your, for your quarters. You no, I don't. I don't want to. I don't buy anything new. I don't want a new. Carpet. Serena, as you're <laughs> in your cat form, you're sniffing around. That was timber. It just said Serena because I didn't change as weird timber as he's poking around in his cat form um he finds a uh amongst the books a handwritten poem uh scrawled into the open cover of a book um he's definitely gonna be reciting that um and he recites the following beware the sea and its scarlet harbinger Beware the sword and death that await. For guidance, we beseech almighty storm lord, consign to our foes Tamerot's fate. Um, Anybody want to make a history check? Yeah, go for it. Okay. Anybody? Yeah. History. Yeah. Uh, Tamarot rings a bell to uh, Barney, but not to Timber. <laughs> um, and then also, in addition, Gion, because you're so tall, uh, lying on top of a bookshelf. Uh, you find a collection of scrolls, spell scrolls. You Ooh. find one, two, three, four spell scrolls. Um, hey, um, have you guys seen this up here? Uh, he says as he passes around uh, spell scrolls. Uh, mm. No, this is magic. This is dumb magic. You guys deal with that. Hey, I got a book for that. <laughs> yeah you know timber is grabbing all of those spells <laughs> yeah. so matt would you put in um 
I, you know, I, we haven't actually dealt with the spell scrolls a lot in this game. Mm-hmm. Do they need to be identified? Uh, any yeah. other person who knows I, about this stuff? I don't know I don't if they have like to be ever... identified, but the dumb bullshit about a spell, spell scrolls that make them really annoying is they have to be used to by someone who can already cast the spell. Right. I think I think you've already decided that we are playing that, even though I I hate it. Yeah, <laughs> no, I, I think any magic user can do it. So that they they just know how to do the arcane shit. So our magic really? users would be who? I'll give you anybody who can use magic. So that's pretty much everyone. So basically everybody but Gian. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Sounds about right. <laughs> um and with that i will tell you uh if you could put this in timbers uh notes matthew mm-hmm. gust of wind speak with and mills speak with plans and control water doesn't dimitri have speak with plants yeah as in a in a little uh locket in a does Dimitri have speak with animals? I don't know. Could Dimitri speak with animals? Dimitri doesn't speak. Dimitri doesn't so speak. yeah, how does that work? I don't know. Pantomime. Okay. <laughs> I mean, Barney, Barney kind of mutters under her breath. I feel like I should be the one controlling water. But... <laughs> <laughs> Why not, like, go over Did, want some... no, I mean, the... Barney, Barney's a cleric. Barney gets to have all the things or you're saying because it's a one use this way is that how it is is that how you're ruling this game uh timber found them so well, timber well, G- Gion well, found, Gion them. found them oh Gion, that's right yeah yeah yeah. and he was like here are some spells and my understanding of timber would be he would immediately perk up and be like i'll take a look at those yeah. and yeah. barney would silently passive aggressively be like i feel like i should get a spell slot so my what question do you th- for you my question for you dane is typically like they're either single use or like a wizard can copy them into a spell book right yeah so since barney is a um, cleric that would mean that they'd only be single use for her correct correct so- so uh, rules as written about spell scrolls is that wizards can copy them into their spell book for a pretty exorbitant uh, gold cost. Gotcha. Um, and then otherwise they're single use. Yeah. So it's not either or, it's the same mechanic. Yeah. There you go. So... Right. so do I get the scroll? What does that or... mean? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have some gust of wind and control water. I think there I already have go. gust of wind. Oh, okay. Um, so essentially, a spell scroll is a free, like a rules as written, is a free spell slot. Yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it, it's also like if you're, uh, you know, druid doesn't have the spell, but it's on the druid spell list, they can still. Ah. Get Okay, I get that. But this is not that. So, here we go. <laughs> Bye, Spence. Um, yeah, so you... water, Barney. This seems like... So I'm taking anybody... it off. So anybody who's going to control water, it just feels like I should control water. Yeah, and, and you have it now. Great. Pass-aggressive poly, you got yeah, it. Yeah, whatever. No, I don't... It's not don't even care. a big deal. I don't no, even care no, about like, it. I don't care. I'm just saying... I'm not into stuff. I just I don't like stuff. I'm just I'm just saying just makes sense that I should control water. All right, you got the next room. You guys want to explore that room? Yeah. Yeah, we do. Explore that room. Uh also uh Gian when he hears uh Barnes Barney uh griping will just grab the spell scroll from uh <laughs> Timber and hand it to her. <laughs> just be like, oh I well, well I guess. Well, well, I mean, if, right. if you want me to have it, that's all right. I'll, I'll just hang on to it. We can decide later. I'll just hang on to it. It's fine. Thanks, Gian. Oh, so thank you, though. That's good. Okay. Uh, doesn't <laughs> care about it, though, at the end of the day. All right. Dining oh, hall. That's fine. Whatever. 
This okay. large hall has a vaulted ceiling that rises to nearly 30 feet high at its center. The area is dominated by a flagstone hearth at the north end and a 20 foot high wooden balcony to the south, supported by rickety looking posts. High windows are set in the east and west walls, which also have door sized holes smashed through them at either side of the balcony. The shattered remains of a large trestle table and a pair of benches litter the center of the floor broken crockery is scattered about along with chunks of food so there's there's ways in and out of this room to the outside is that my understanding um second floor the east windows open to the outside and allow light in the hall during the day the west windows allow archers on the second floor to fire down on any intruder in this area Hmm. the hermits have made several structural altercations to the hall including widening arrow slits in the guard tower and the entry hall balcony to create doorways on the second level Uh, they then built the crude wooden balcony to connect the upper floor of the watchtower with the inside of the main building the balcony's construction is shabby and the wooden poles that precariously support it look unsafe it can support up to two. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sorry, I, I still don't understand the geometry because we are on the first floor right now. Mm-hmm. And you're giving us second floor descriptions. Where? How do we? Is there a staircase in there? No. Um, but were you to go to the second floor? Uh, the widened holes to different things would allow you to access both the tower and the rickety balcony that is above uh, that is above here. Am I on the right layer? Yes, I am. Oh, oh okay. So we can see a balcony but not reach it. In this Correct. Room. Okay. Sorry. Thank you. You're good. So there's that. I believe you got some places to look on the second floor as well. Let's go. Uh, you do not. We that was it. it. What's mm. this? Huh? There's no door. Oh, uh, so the. Oh, I'm on the wrong one. Is that another poop room. So, <laughs> so this was this was the poop room, right? Mm-hmm. And the above long chamber um, has a stair ladder going into this room. So if you'd like to go in there, you can do that as well. Are these little holes that perhaps we can look in first? Sure. Yeah. They're, those are the archer. I'm peeping. You're giving it a little peep peep. Cobwebs shroud this apparently abandoned room, obscuring three arrow slits on the west wall. A ladder bolted to the east wall leads to a trap door in the ceiling. Uh, this room can be can make a defensible hideout later in the adventure when the drowned ones return. I also I read the quiet part out loud. <laughs> uh, I want to go in. I want to go in. I run however I need to run to get down there. Oh, baby, you get there. Let me tell you. <laughs> you just hop, skip, and a jump. You turn into a slip of flame, and you fall into... <laughs> oh, that'd be fucking dope. The cloud spell, but it's fire. You know? <laughs> that'd be awesome. Fire cloud. <laughs> Mist, mi- instead of misty step? Yeah. Misty step. Well, Smoky not even step. misty step, but what's the one? what's the one that takes everybody? What am I thinking? It's like a high-level spell? Uh, scatter, scatter. They, do it in, they did it in vapor, gaseous that, form. that one you liked so much. The podcast. There is gaseous form, I think, but sp- Matt Matt brings up a great one that that scatter is is perfect for this situation. But gaseous form would turn everybody into flame, and that would be sick as hell. That's cool. <laughs> hell yeah. Uh, there's no like giant spiders in these spider webs, huh? Do you want that to be? Uh, no, I just want to, I'm going to sort of throw a few <laughs> finger fires at it and kind of burn it all up. Whoosh! It all goes up in flame. Oh, yeah. Tying a lot, millions of tiny baby spiders scream in unison. 
<laughs> they all they all cry for their mommies. Yeah. Uh, okay, Joe. Like this would be a good place to defend later. <laughs> <laughs> Against the drowned ones. <laughs> Are there ways to enter the structure from this side over here, Dean? Uh, you both are going in there? Yeah. So I will remind you that something was seen in there that was not dealt with. Where are we talking about? All right. Then I can tell my friends to come too, I suppose. <laughs> what? Could you? Where are we talking about? Where? Yeah. The, the circle to the far west to the map. Oh. Mm. What happened here? Oh, yeah. So somebody, I, mean, I can't remember who, I think it might have been Dimitri and oh, somebody like poked their head in there and this is kind of the garbage garbage dump. It was definitely Gian and he didn't see anything to fight or loot, so he was like, I'm done. It's just garbage. <laughs> Gian doesn't care about garbage. The damp dark tower room smells of rotten mildew. The floor glistens with puddles of water and trickles of moisture dribble down the wall to the west and south. Once, what once might have been barrels and crates stacked against the walls have decayed into nearly unidentifiable heaps of mold. Guys, it's, it's just a garbage heap. Why are, why are we coming back here? Like, is there any way into this room? Um, let me look. No. Okay. De defo. Defo not. Okay. And we don't perceive any threats in here? You. You. My... <laughs> uh, everybody make a perception check who is in this room I'm in the room I should look with my eyes oh, we're all there now it's a looking party oh, wait, what's, looking your, party. what's your passive Serena 18, 18 yeah. yeah there's a green slime in here <laughs> There's a green slime in here. The, the hermits discovered a deadly green slime in this area shortly after taking over the fortress. Rather than risk exposing themselves to it, they choose to lock the door and throw away the key. A 10 foot by 10 foot patch of green slime lurks on the ceiling in the western portion of this room. Any character who succeeds a DC 16 wisdom check notices the slime before stepping under it. Otherwise, the slime falls on any creature passing below it. Right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> with a, with Wait, a, so, sorry, can we clarify that that was him uh, playing Timber? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> we got two cat boys and one mat boy right now. Um, so uh, I, you all having a, a steady hand at observing pantomime. Um, based on other party members, you, uh, <laughs> your eyes are cast towards the ceiling where, uh, Serena, the, uh, snow leopard, um, is, uh, gently pawing at the air and you see a quivering mass of green on the ceiling. It remains unmoving. Uh, well, Kitty's gonna take another step back. Uh, Timbers, like, well, if we've got to be in here, we may, we may as well neutralize our threats. Um, um, sorry, could someone explain what that is? Uh, anybody who'd like to make a nature or survival check can do so. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I probably know. Man, is this not in my compendium? That's bullshit. <laughs> you need to get a confrendium. <laughs> what? That's nothing. <laughs> Come on, pendium. 
green uh, green slime. Oh, it's in the Dungeon Master's Guide. Okay. It's in Environmental Hazards. It's not even a, a monster. Mm -hmm. I have to look in a completely different book. Spoilers. Gian, it's not really a monster. It's an environmental hazard. <laughs> if, we, if we take like five Barney steps back, we probably, it's going to take him a long time to, to read what it is. So if we all take five steps back, it will probably be okay. <laughs> By the time it, it, it falls or act or triggers or whatever. Or whatever. Or whatever it does. Well, I mean, it's just like, I don't know. Is it moss? Looks kind of like moss. It's Did you see like that, that episode that of it's... Cowboy Bebop? It might be like that. All right, here we go. Oh boy, I hope it's not. That was my Barney... least favorite episode. Of <laughs> Barney recites the following: uh, the acidic green slime. Doing Barney's voice. Um, like it's not <laughs> important, but like this, Puts whatever. Up. <laughs> acidic green slime devours fresh or whatever, like organic material and metal. <laughs> on contact uh it's bright green wet and sticky obviously and it's clinging to the walls it can also cling to floors and ceilings and patches a uh, patch of green slime covers a five foot square and has blind sight out of range of 30 feet and drops from walls and ceilings when it detects movement below it beyond that it has no ability to move <gasps> A creature aware of the slime's presence can avoid being struck by it by the successful DC 10 dexterity saving throw. Otherwise, the slime can't be avoided as it drops. A creature that comes in contact with green slime takes five acid damage. The creature takes the damage again at the start of each of its turn until the slime is scraped off or destroyed. Against wood or metal, green slime deals 11 acid damage each round, and any non-magical wood or metal weapon or tool used to scrape off the slime is effectively destroyed sunlight any effect that cures disease and any effect that deals cold fire or radiant damage destroys a patch of green slime mm. oh wow barney you uh know a lot about green slimes and that's yes, the I most that's barney's very... ever said <laughs> <laughs> so cinder burn it all can do um, i do it wait wait can we um like can we pick it up and move it? No, Gene. They are not little spiders. Well, like, I don't know. Put it in a jar or something. It Throw does it not dissolve glass. So I guess yes, we could jar some of it. You have a giant jar. It also oh. doesn't go through stone, I believe. Don't we have a completely empty Bag of holding. Seems like we could that take a big jar. Because nice. <laughs> what if? Because what if we used it as a weapon and like put it around where the drowned ones are going to come? Would it, it is a good idea. Would it be a nice booby trap? Oh, a booby! Like that's a good it? idea too. I was going to throw it at someone, but well, that could work too. too. Yeah. All right, let's get some jars. Room or kitchen? Um, I, ceramics are probably fine too. Then. Um, okay, so it clings blind sight against wood, metal, wood or metal, it does damage. Non magical wood or metal. So anything that isn't wood or metal. Ceramic is good. We, what do we have that's the rank? There's a kitchen. Yeah, John's going to go look around the kitchen dining hall. For, for anything. Okay. Or like the there's the pantry, right? There's probably some... We could get a pan. We could get two frying pans. Metal. Cast, mm. cast iron. Metal. That's Metal. Iron. That's iron. <laughs> Metal. Ceramic frying pan. Can we get the ceramic <laughs> frying pan? Get my glass pans. Maybe perhaps there is a double boiler. That's that's that has a glass sometimes. Um, I'm gonna say that um, 
I'm going to say that if you ask the boys, the two boys, uh, the two dudes, the, the fellows, yeah. um, they're going to point you in the right direction of some great big uh, fermentation jars. Uh, that they use to make sauerkraut. Okay. Sauerkraut is not metal. Gion makes everyone a delicious sauerkraut based meal. <laughs> mm. It's just sauerkraut though. Just sauerkraut <laughs> and slime. Gion, <laughs> mm. what is the special ingredient? Well, it's slime. <laughs> um, you know that slime we were, we were I, doing I for a trap? Be- I fed I thought, it to you. <laughs> I thought it would be a nice little acidity, you know? Uh, salads little... are green. This slime is green. They're both yeah. must be healthy. <laughs> That's a health food now. And so all of our esophaguses burn up from internally. And we all just go, bleh, bleh. T- TPK, <laughs> the campaign's over because Gion made dinner. <laughs> I think we all knew it would end this way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Um, so uh y- y'all y'all got it's a 10 by 10 so you got like you can do four jars of slime that cover a five foot area and you can put four. you can so, put those squares wherever you want them so 20 uh, feet total you're saying uh four jars of five foot 20 20 feet yes but it it's it's four it's four it's four it's four squares you have four squares of slime 20 square feet uh, yes. 10 by 10 square G- gian's gonna request to uh, reserve yes. one so he can throw it at someone okay okay thank you <laughs> so yeah we should put some of the rest i don't know around a doorway or something once we've barricaded ourselves in could be a good booby trap whatever so i i went over this last time but um I will go over it again um, since it's been a while. So you can uh, use your time to do two of the following things. Um, You can, the second level of the Hermitage features numerous arrow slits looking onto the exterior of the building. Characters who specialize in ranged attacks and magic can use the arrow slots to launch arrows, bolts, and spells. Uh, at the drowned ones as they approach so that's not something that you have to do anything about you have that to your at your um what's the word at your you can use them um (laughs) you can use them um Fifteen near area fifteen, but fifteen is what the fuck? That's where we have the quinceanera. It's a quinceanera room, is what it is. <laughs> but area fifteen is inside. So where the fuck are they talking about? I don't know. They they reversed it. They're looking for area fifty one. Hey, mm. that's where the aliens oh. are. And the aliens are having their quinceanera, so it all works out. Um, you guys didn't really uh, explore the garden, but um, there's some assassin vines out there. We kill them first. Spoilers. There's some assassin <laughs> vines out there, so you can use the uh, plant, speak with plants to do something mm-hmm. with the assassin vines. Mm-hmm. Uh, we also never explored this little tower out here. Which one? Uh, the one on the uh, east side of the building. Oh, you did. Well, uh, G or not Gian, Um Dimitri did. When? What tower? Where? The bottom of. Uh... Oh. Because I, I walked over there and got attacked. This. Huh? You got a. Uh, sh- they looked in from the top, and looked into the room. Oh, that was that building. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Didn't understand. Yeah, no worries. Um, okay. Uh, so there's there's all that. You killed all the rats, so you can't use the rats. 
Uh, you can reinforce doors. There are five entrances into the Hermitage. The double doors at the front, two doors at the back of the fortress, uh, the doors leading in from the rampart and the watchtower door. Enough wooden nails can be found inside the Hermitage to reinforce all the doors. The main obstacle is time. It takes a character one hour to gather the required materials and reinforce one door. The time is cut in half of another character, including one of the survivor's helps. A reinforced door cannot be broken through with a strength check, but must be battered down. Um, this fact helps slow the undead uh, since they are forced to fight their way through the doors. You can also, you get the feeling like you could rig the roof. The aging slate tiles on the roof uh, can be easily rigged to collapse. This tactic is especially useful if the victim falls some distance into an area where the characters have open space to make attacks. Okay. Um, you also have a bunch of oil of slipperiness that you have you found have throughout. Um, yeah. So I guess the, the time thing is where do you want to, you have six hours. Uh, what do you guys want to do? How do you guys want to prepare for this assault? And if you want to take a short rest, uh, half an hour, then you have five and a half hours. It, it short rest should be an hour, I think. I like it being a half hour. <laughs> okay. I, I think <laughs> we've been running at a half hour, haven't we? I think we have. I think it's supposed to be an hour, though. Very true. I like a half an hour better. Um, I think short rest is probably wise. Yeah, I think, I think that's 100% needed. Okay. Five and a half hours. Slowing them from making their way in might be a good idea. Making their way. What level are we? <laughs> Nine. Okay, cool. Just double checking. I, I feel like I have a lot of things that I don't realize that I have. Um, because Barnacle just we'll sits there. Well, Barnacle's sitting out and like staring at the window, and she's like, "Oh, I can turn the undead." <laughs> You've had that since the, the level skeleton, two skeleton yeah. island. Yeah. Oh, you, hey guys, do you remember yeah. when I did that? That's pro I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna do that again, but better. That's yeah, definitely do that. I'm gonna do that. No, you guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn the undead. You guys, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> so mm. <laughs> suddenly, so loquacious, mm. Barnacle, just really. I'm just thinking out loud. Also, did you guys know it? I have a scroll of mass healing word and like another healing <laughs> potion. Dimitri, do you want this healing potion? Because I have a healing potion. I've just had it. Dimitri, you want I don't it? know how much you heal after your short rest, but but if you're still feeling like I want to hear good, Spencer's uh him Dimitri impression. <laughs> hear the impression. <laughs> Seems like you'd want that healing potion even after your short rest. Am I right, my friend? Why don't you take this little healing potion? Just just take that little healing potion. Great. I'll, I'll okay, add there. but she... describe how like like demure and and cute Dimitri is with all of this as well. I, I thought I did just did a great job. Okay, you well. did. No, you did. Okay, was... take a point of inspiration. You did Thank great. You. You're welcome. But was... Dimitri gets it, not Gian. No, I understand. <laughs> of course. <laughs> hey. You think? Wow, Ooh. such a low opinion of your brother. Well, I didn't want it to be like Spencer gets it. It's the mm. character that gets oh. it. Mm. Oh, no, I know. I know. Okay. Yeah. It's yeah. Not, we can't just spread the wealth of that point. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons is fun. Okay, I'm going to delete this one of my healing potions. Okay. I also still have three bottles of holy oil. Is that good for this? Oh yeah. Do yeah. You guys want? Should I? G Gian will take one of those. You want one of those, Gian? I'm oh, gonna give oh, you one. That's probably a good idea. All right, you take it, bud. She's oh. been burning a hole in this this here pocket. Oh, I've Thanks had this since our... we were on that Skull Island. Do you guys remember that? I don't. I remember you turned undead at one point. Yeah. Oh. 
I guess. I think now I could do it like twice as often. All right. Um, also, wait, yeah. I'll shut up. What are we doing? You don't need to shut up. You're doing great. No. For <laughs> no. Hey, <laughs> hey y'all remember this? What? It's all black. Oh, that's dumb. Oh, I still had holy oil on my sheet, too. Yeah, like, I I'm, feel I'm like I made off. us a bunch, and then we didn't need it, because we... Our badass? We, yeah, we were prepping for a really big zombie battle, and then we ended up taking a really lucky path where it was oh, just like, yeah. eh, blink, eh, blink. D does anyone else uh, need ho holy oil? Does else need any holy to, oil? I gotta got look at my main, my paper sheet and copy everything over, because I think we were like having in person for like a minute, and I don't even know my spells, so I don't know. I have no items listed online, <laughs> like at all, uh, whatsoever. Oh my god, I just I have five healing potions on G. I feel like we have like a ton of fucking healing potions like i think we're we bought up. a lot of stuff and then just didn't use it it's like yeah. i gotta push y'all harder no we're no no oh no, no i want to win <laughs> no winning dungeons and dragons only persisting no you win well, if you eat everything really easily and, and yeah don't die I think this is actually the most uh, video games thing I do in Dungeons and Dragons, which is never use my healing potions. <laughs> <laughs> I only use them when I really need them. <laughs> and then by the end of the campaign, you've got max potions out the butt. Well, like, I mean, the action economy, it's just, you know, it's usually worth it to just kill something instead of using a healing potion. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Until one of your friends falls. Okay. Um, I want you guys to draw where you are fortifying. You have between all of you, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's seven of you. So essentially, you have five and a half hours, right? Who's, who's the seven? Uh, the two boys. They're are one. they going to fight? No, but they can help you. Well, there's, help six, there's six adventurers, huh? And then two other people. Right? Is that wrong? Yeah, seven. What did I say? You said seven. Yeah. But six plus yeah. two? Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, there we go. Eight. Okay. Cool. Okay, okay. Thank you. And I don't know what I'm saying. Well, I didn't know if you met like they're as good as one of us or something. Like, I was trying to. They are good as one of you at uh, making sure doors don't open. Okay. So we have like what? So we we've Eight been people times five. But we have forty man hours to make new prep. <laughs> this we can do everything. Do anything our little hearts desire. So you got five entrances. So you want to just do all five or do you want to leave one open so you funnel him uh oh, Gian, Gian wants to leave the front one open okay front meaning top the northernest okay oh we have that because they're gonna come from the water right what what if you leave the front one but then barricade the one behind it so they come in and then they get stuck in that room yeah so Gion actually has the the uh, assault plan. He found the the wet assault plan on them. Um, do you remember that, Gion? I do. I was going to ask what it mm -hmm. contained because I didn't remember what that was. Oh, I also never said what that person in the poem was, their fate. I don't think you you Does it knew matter? who it was. Oh, it just strikes a bell. Yeah, it just rings. Okay, a bell. but I don't know what happened to them. Correct. Okay, never mind. Okay, so Gian, you know that um, 
They're first going to come at the front door. Okay. And then they're going to... Uh, go for the watchtower. Okay. They're going to go for the tower. Um, and then... They're going to go for the back door. And then they're going to go for the side door. They're essentially doing a clockwise rotation of assault. And then they're going to do a uh, double assault front door and tower. Okay. And then and then is their whole deal that they just they're just fucking water vampires they're gonna leave at dawn or like what <laughs> kind of so we don't necessarily need to kill them all we just need to survive they will they will come at nightfall yeah. and they will leave at sunup but that gives you all night oh we're gonna we're gonna from dusk till dawn this motherfucker mm, a little bit and then i <sighs> It's been so long. I don't know why. Why aren't we just taking these guys and leaving? I don't remember what the they have beseeched is. you to help protect their home because this is the only place they have. They have nothing else. Why did but we these guys that? are coming? Why do we agree to that? Light? That's what I said. I was not on board for this. Hey, you guys can uh, try and convince them to leave, but they're staying. And if they stay, they will be killed. This seems um, like sort of a suicide situation. If, that's that's if, up to them, I guess. If I recall, we also want to like clear out the drowned ones so that we can go patch up the pole in the bottom of the sea. That's very true. Yeah. You guys were going to go straight to the, the Hell Maw um, that's open in the bottom of the ocean. Um, and you had a something, something led you to believe that if you go there, then the entire crew um that was on the ship that sank there you would have to take them all at once so in this method you're taking out a good deal of them so this, this way. is them Divided i don't remember that literally at all <laughs> well that's, that seems pretty good jimmy i'm gonna important. tell you you work on a lot of stuff off screen sometimes and you're not always listening 100 no. percent of the time so <laughs> You know, I think that it, people found these clues throughout and it was said. So it's also maybe just because we go at a pretty slow pace. <laughs> Fair enough. So it seems like there is a motivation to kill them, not just survive and let them go away. Because if they're going back away into the place that we're trying to go, yeah, you're offsetting. So, yeah. Right. So we should take out as many as we possibly can. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, cool. Yeah, so let's let's barricade all of them except for the, uh, the very front door, but definitely the one behind it. Cool. Unless um, anyone I, has any other ideas. I don't know if I finished because I can't find area 14. Where is area 14? Uh. Can I advocate we take a bio break while he looks for the area? 14? Yeah, you guys go ahead. Ah, area fourteen is the no more bio break. <laughs> no, you guys can take a you get yeah, it's nine seventeen. You guys go take your bio break. I am gonna leave and go pack for my trip. Yeah. Um. So, 
enjoy. These, these three boys, I mean, we could call oh, it here uh, too. It guys. might be that. No, <laughs> yeah. I want half to the group playing. is here at this point. No, no, no. Yeah, it, Emily, it's cool. Uh, and then you guys kind of have a game plan for next time, right? So there we go. Um, are there any other like fortifications we want to make before we call it so that, you know, we don't have to take more time next session? Do you guys, where do you want to put the green slime? Also, do you want to like rig the 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 roof anywhere to fall in or something? Okay, maybe we need everyone to make. These yeah, <laughs> fair. Yeah. But I I think this was uh you you finished exploring the map, you cleared out all present dangers, you have a good handle on how you're going to be assaulted, you have a good handle on what resources are at your disposal. Um, uh, everybody puts their hands into the middle of a, a group huddle and go says go team and then and that's where the camera uh, fades out and then the credits start going. Cinder puts her arms around us. It's like here's the plan, and it just zooms out. <laughs> yeah, know, that's right. Zoom, 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 zoom. <laughs> yeah. And then next time we'll have a good old faction montage. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you very much for the session. Um, and uh, we'll meet again in on the 16th. Cool. Where are you, where are you going, Emily? Emily? Yeah, where are you going? Going to Humboldt, California. Oh, going to get some of that stank ass, dank ass weed. Cool. Yeah, definitely. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> How long are you there? I literally flying tomorrow and flying back Wednesday. It's just another work trip. Uh. Oof. Yeah. For the blind kids. Yep. We're going to see half the blind kids tomorrow afternoon, half the blind kids Wednesday morning, and then we're going to come back Wednesday night. Why do blind yeah, kids will. need optometry? They're low vision. They're not completely oh. no light perception. Legally blind. Yeah. <laughs> it's an important distinction to make. And yeah. actually, we do have Eye Health Day at CSP where no light perception, we still do medical exams on their eyes. So. Oh. Still need just because you can't see them doesn't mean they can't be unhealthy exactly Terrible. there you go there you go all right the more you know the more all right you know. everybody have a good night, good night. have a good night bye